Hi, in this video we will learn to retrieve data from a database such as MySQL. I will be limiting myself to access database within MySQL server already installed on my Windows machine using default host address as localhost and port as 3306. Let me first fire up a command prompt and connect to MySQL server so that I could show you a couple of things such as the default databases and their table schema that were installed during the installation of MySQL server. I will be using one of those databases and its tables to fetch data from into R. Here on command prompt, let me just maximize it. On the command prompt, we will type string MySQL minus U for the username and minus P followed by password string. In my case, user is user1 and password is capital P password1. When I hit enter, I can see I'm successfully able to connect to MySQL server. To get the list of databases that were installed by default, we will type show databases followed by semicolon. And by default, there are six databases installed. Out of these six databases, the one we will be working in R is Word database. Let me select this database by typing use Word. To get the information about the tables it has, we will type show tables. And we can see there are three tables in this database, city, country and country language. Let's retrieve only the first five rows of observations from table city using select query. And this is the result. So the data frame that we will create in R using MySQL query should look like the same as what we are seeing over here. The first column will be the ID. The second column will be the name of the city. Third will be the country code. Fourth will be the district. And the last column will be the population of the cities. We will now go back to our R script and start working on fetching data from MySQL. In the script editor as we are looking at, I already have written some codes which would install the necessary packages in step 1 and then in step 2 we will attach these packages after installation. I will skip step 1 because I already have installed these packages and assume that before proceeding to step 2 you would have done it as well. So if we are good to go then let's execute the code in step 2 to attach the packages that offer functions to work with MySQL server and the databases there. Let's execute this. And we can see that the package has been successfully attached to the environment. Let me explain what this chunk of code in step 3 do. Basically, we are setting up the default settings that would help R to establish a connection with MySQL server with the database Word and the table city at localhost address 127.0.0.1 and the default port 3306 where the MySQL server listens the incoming queries. So let's execute these codes by selecting all of these together, hit run and the default settings we can see are appearing in the global environment. And we are ready to use these settings through the functions to establish a connection in step 4. Our MySQL package basically offers a function dbConnect which can establish a connection with MySQL server using the username and the password and other settings as shown in step 3. So when we select the code in step 4 and hit run, if the connection was not successfully established then the code in step 4 should have thrown some kind of error which would appear over here in the console. Since we don't see any error appearing, we can be confident that the connection was established successfully. To verify whether the connection has been established or not, what we are going to do, we will run a small query in step 5. If the connection was successfully established, then the query should return the appropriate result that we are asking through the SQL query. Later, after the execution of the codes, I will explain you one by one what it does. Now let us understand what we have done. Let me first delete all of the codes that I have written in this script. 
and let me start with step 3 where we will set up the default settings. First we will pass a username into a vector db user. In my case it is capital U user 1 which we have seen earlier in the video. Then we will pass password to the vector db underscore password and default db password will be capital P password 1. Before moving on to the next script, let me just clean all of these settings and console results. Next settings will be db underscore name. So which database are we going to connect to? And it was word. What was the table name within this database to which we have to connect to? It's db table and the table name was city. The next setting is where this database is hosted and the database host name is localhost on 127.0.0.1 and the last setting is on which port this database listens. So db underscore port is the one where the database listens to the queries and by default it was 3306 for us. So let me execute all of these queries after selecting at once and we can see all of the settings has been stored into global environment into respective vectors. In step 4 we will be establishing the connection with the database and the specified table. To do so in our MySQL dependency package dbi we have a function dbconnect. This function will use the arguments passed to it to establish the connection and after connecting successfully with MySQL server the connection parameters will be stored into an object and in our case this object will be my connection. So let us start with step 4. As I said my connection will be the object and we will use dbconnect function. The first argument in the function will be which server mysql. The second argument will be which user. In our case we have already defined into db user. password then we have to pass the database name to which we have to establish the connection db name equals db underscore name on which host this database is installed is db host which is local host and then on which port the database is going to listen the incoming queries is db port let's execute this function and we can see since there is no error message appearing onto the console over here we can assume that the connection has been established successfully. In the next step that is step 5 we will use the established connection and pass a simple query in which we would retrieve all the data from the table city into an object which is a data frame named as df. Let's write a simple query and store it into an object query. wherein we are going to select everything from the table city. Let's execute this. We can type on console to see what this query object stores. And we can see this is an string which stores the value 
select a star from the city. Let's execute this query and store the result into an object run query. Using the function db send query in which the first argument will be my connection, the connection string in which we have established the connection with the database and the second argument will be the query name itself. On execution, we can see that the query has been successfully run and the results have been stored into this object run query. To retrieve the result from run query object, we have another function called fetch. The fetch function basically retrieves all of the results into the object data frame df. Fetch function basically takes two arguments. First is the query results and the second is which all records are to be retrieved. Let's execute this function. And we can see the data frame is created. Let's click on this data frame. And what we have seen in the beginning of the video, exactly the same information is appearing in this data set. Let's close this object. The final and most important thing is to close all the open connections using the function db disconnect. And all we need to pass the argument as the connection string, which stores the connection information. Upon execution this one, we can see the message appears closing all result sets and we are no more connected. If we try to run again the query, it should throw back an error. That means the connection has been closed. In this video, we learned to connect to a database and in particular MySQL Server. We also saw to get data into R from that database. Thank you.